Hello! Yes, hello, Robert. Yes, this is he! How, how are you doing, my friend? Well, I woke up this morning and I found out the stitches to my operation for my anal fistula broke, so I'm breeding. I'm bleeding profusely from my anus, but aside from that, I'm okay. Oh my God, so are you planning to go to the hospital? Oh, yes, I, I plan to go to the hospital soon. Okay, Mr. Robert, well, listen, my name is John Walker, sir. I call to give you wonderful news. I am calling to notify you about a certified cashier's check that is here for you for $275,000. Have you received a letter of notification in the mail? No, and I can definitely use something like that. I can use it to help pay for my senior housing and my meals on wheels and my pills for my reptile dysfunction. That is wonderful. And listen, Mr. Robert, God has been put in place many things for you. And I guess this is one thing he has put in place for you to be doing, to receive this money to take care of yourself. So what do I have to do to get this Perfect, money? What I, um, I just simply need to ask you a few questions here, Mr. Robert, to have your process and then we'll get you on a delivery date to have the delivery done for you. That is all you have to do. Okay. All right, Mr. Robert, are you safe with your car with us? Am I what? Can you repeat? Are you single, married, or widowed? Oh, I'm happy. I'm single. Okay, do you have a credit card or a debit card? Yes, I have, let me think, I have a Visa Vagina card, a Masturbate card, a Disco card, and an American Espresso card. Okay, and um... What is the name of your bank? Mm -hmm. It's Bank of America. Oh, your bank with the Bank of America. Yes. And um, do you have do you have both checkings and savings at the, um, the Bank of America? Yes, I've had a checking account ever since I sold my second house for five hundred thousand dollars, and I wanted a safe place to keep my money. Okay. And, um, listen, do you drive? Yes, I have a 1980 Ford Pinto. Okay, and do you take care of your own finances? I've been taking care of my own financial decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Sharon Needles, and ever since I fired my lawyer, Crystal Methhead. Okay. And are you interested to receive the $275, Mr. Richard? Yes, I want that money, yes! Okay, and do you owe any mortgage or any credit card or any loan bills? No, I, uh, I paid off my mortgage after I sold my second house for $500,000. Just now, before you said you sell your house for four hundred thousand dollars. Oh, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. When you're seventy-three, it's all the same. Hmm. All right, Mr. Richard. Hi. I I hope you're in, I hope you're fully involved in our. You want this because I think you're playing around. I think you're playing games. Did you say I'm playing games? I'm offended. I want to speak to your supervisor. Pardon? I, I'm offended this notion I'm playing games. I want to speak to your supervisor. Okay, well, my supervisor is not in at this moment, so you'd have to wait for me to provide to you and then let it transfer the call so we could speak with you. But before, before I do so, could we finish the process before we do that? Well, did, did, don't you want me to drive to the store and get you a Visa Vagina card? 
no, Mr. Richard, no, no. Please, please, please do not do this. I didn't ask you for nothing. I told you all you have to do, Mr. Richard, is just to be work with me so I could have this done for you and have it form filled it out and they will schedule the time when the delivery will be made. Did I tell you to go and drive to any store to get any card? You just told me that you're injured. And the main thing at this current time is for you to try to go to an hospital to get yourself sorted out. Okay, so I guess you can uh, call me back uh, when I'm back from the hospital and you can tell me if I uh, need a Visa Vagina card or I need a Red Dot card or uh, what type of card. Mr. Richard, please do not go there here. I don't, I, I am sorry if I insulted you before, but please do not do this. I am not asking you for any form of card at whatsoever. Oh, actually, I have a card here with $500 that I never spent. I can scratch the back and read you the number. Do you want me to scratch the back and read you the number? I'm scratching the card. Still scratching the card. Oh, my, my wrist got tired. Have to give it a break a moment. Okay, I'm scratching the card again. Okay, so I have a uh, I have a number here from a green dot card. Do you want me to read it out loud to you? So do you want me to read you the number for the five hundred dollar green dot card? You don't want any. You don't want five hundred dollars. It would buy you a lot of ganja. Buy you a lot of uh, prostitutes in Kingston. Hello? 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 Yes, we got disconnected. You want me to read you the numbers uh, from my green dot card? Yes, go ahead. Okay, here's the numbers from the green dot card. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Thank you.